XGBoost or Extreme Gradient Boosting is a machine learning algorithm that has gained significant popularity due to its versatility and performance, winning a lot of competitions on platforms like Kaggle and still outperforming deep learning models by quite a large margin on many tabular datasets. Digging a little bit deeper, at its core, HGBoost is just an extremely optimized gradient boosting model which by itself is a powerful machine learning algorithm. However, XGBoost also contains several key features that make it stand out. One, it incorporates both L1 and L2 regularization techniques used to prevent overfitting and enhance model generalization. This capability is particularly useful when dealing with large datasets and highly dimensional feature spaces. It has built-in capabilities to handle missing values, reducing the need for extensive data pre-processing. This feature comes especially in handy if you are just starting out in machine learning and are not really sure what's the correct way of filling out the missing data. It has built-in cross-validation capabilities, allowing you to perform cross-validation without the need for external libraries. This capability allows you to stop the training early when you no longer see any benefits, or it can also help you find the optimal number of iterations by looking at the model performance as it's training and see at what point it should be stopped. XGBoost is also designed for speed and scalability. It can make efficient use of multi-core processors and distributed computed frameworks, making it suitable for large datasets. XGBoost also employs a depth-first strategy for growing trees and compared to most of the tree pruning methods out there that stop branching when they no longer perceive any benefits, XGBoost typically goes deep by default and subsequently attempts to optimize the tree by backward pruning. This approach often leads to trees that are deeper but more finely optimized. It also supports user-defined objective functions and evaluation metrics, which can be handy if you want to do a more specialized optimization. And finally, it has a really easy-to-use interface that supports multiple languages like Python, C++, R, and so on.